Tonight, it's known as the silent killer. Six months ago, pancreatic cancer claimed the life of Emmerdale actor Tony Audenshaw's wife, Ruth. Well, today has been designated World Pancreatic Cancer Day, and this morning, Tony spoke passionately about the need for more awareness about the disease, which has the lowest survival rate of any major cancer. As David Hurst reports, cancer charities say early diagnosis is the key to saving lives. If I go into hospital, I may never come out. As Emmerdale's lovable cafe owner Bob Hope, he helped screen wife Brenda battle a brain tumour. Away from the cameras, actor Tony Audenshaw had to cope with his own heartbreaking struggle, watching his real wife Ruth fight a losing battle with pancreatic cancer. We were told in no uncertain terms by the gastroenterologist there that um, it was inoperable, um, third stage cancer, the head of the pancreas, that uh, if they did operate, she'd bleed out on the table. Um, and uh, we knew the prognosis, it was six to 12 months. Sadly, it's an all too common prognosis. The charity Pancreatic Cancer Action says three quarters of all victims die within a year of diagnosis. More than a third of patients in the UK were told their pancreatic cancer had already spread to major organs. And more than half of GPs initially dismissed the patient's symptoms as nothing to worry about. I did manage to get the symptoms early. That was the case for Sue Walker, but she ignored doctors who said she got gastroenteritis. And her instinct probably saved her life. Come off ill, off work ill, um, just with diarrhoea and sickness. And it turned out to be cancer. But it wasn't, that was September. Um, and it wasn't until the following July that I actually had my operation. It's 17 years since that life-saving operation. Sue counts herself lucky that her persistence paid off. Well, a little earlier I spoke to Ali Stunt, the founder of the charity Pancreatic Cancer Action and herself a survivor of the disease. And I started by asking her if early diagnosis really is the key. Oh, absolutely. Early diagnosis is fundamental to um, improving the outcomes for patients. And currently, sadly, about 80% of patients are diagnosed when their, their disease is just far too advanced for surgery to be the option. And surgery is the, currently the only potential we have for a cure. So early diagnosis is absolutely vital. OK, so what are the symptoms? What should people be looking for? Well, abdominal pain, um, and that can um, radiate round to the back. Um, some patients suffer from back pain, and that back pain isn't lower back pain, that's mid-back pain, where a lady's bra strap would sit, and uh, that can radiate round to the front as well. People quite often describe pain on eating or indigestion type symptoms. Now if patients have been suffering from indigestion and they've had prescribed medication from their doctors and it's not going away after a four to six week period, they need to go back to their doctors and investigate why that is. Um, jaundice, if people have found that they've got yellowing of the skin or the whites of the eyes, sometimes they get itching and very, very dark urine, the color of tea, um, then that is also a, a signal and people, if they have those symptoms of jaundice they need to go to their GP straight away or even to A&E. Um, other symptoms can include losing weight without trying and it's significant weight loss as well um, and plus you know 30% of pancreatic cancer patients are actually given a diagnosis for new onset diabetes sometimes one to two years before diagnosis so if you don't fit the profile for that di diabetes diagnosis i.e. you haven't gained a lot of weight you haven't got a family history then you need to discuss the potential of pancreatic cancer with your doctor. OK, well, uh, today is all about spreading awareness of the disease and hopefully we've done a little to help.